Hello everyone and welcome back to Ventures with Them. So, in the past I have talked about that I collect magnets. And so today, I was just kind of sitting here thinking, I really wanted to share something new with you and I really don't have anything new to share. But I do have my magnet collection. So, and some of you are maybe like, I don't really care anything about magnets, but one thing about magnets are you can use them because we put stuff on the fridge all the time. And I also have one side of my fridge. So my fridge is a, a slate color, but the side of it is black and it stands out in the room. And it just kind of doesn't really look like it goes very well in the kitchen. So I've actually started putting my magnets on that side of the fridge to cover it up. So it actually kind of gives it a neat look to it. Um, just kind of brings it out, makes it have something other than just that black wall on it. So I was just gonna kind of share with you my magnet collection. Now, mm, I don't have magnets from years back. We've moved so much and things do tend to get broken. And I really just started taking care of my magnets a couple of years ago because I don't want these to all get broken. So I've started taking better care of them as we move. So anyway, um, I do have a lot of them that I, I wish I still had that uh, if I go back and I see another one like it, I'll end up probably getting two so that I can replace that one. But anyway, so here we go. So one of our favorite places to go is Bubba Gump to eat. So if you've never been to a Landry's restaurant, Landry's owns Landry's, Rainforest, Bubba Gump, um, Aquarium. Uh, I, I don't know, there's just tons and tons of restaurants that are owned by the same company. So one of theirs is Bubba Gump and we love Bubba Gump. It is. It has a lot of references to um, Forrest Gump, the movie. So if you're a fan of the Forrest Gump movie, you will probably love Bubba Gump because they even do like um, a quiz while you're there and they like to see how much you know about the Forrest Gump movie. So it is very fun to actually go in there. So this is the I'm Special or Mom's, Mama Says I'm Special by Bubba Gump. Um, this one was $4, and so I usually don't get ones that are very expensive. Um, I don't think I have any that I've ever paid like $10 for. I think that's just like way more than what I would have paid for that one. That one actually came from, um, Universal Studios Orlando when we were there in 2017, 2018. So that, that was one I got from there. Um, while we were there, I actually got this one also. This is the Race Through New York with Jimmy Fallon. It's a ride that they have there. It is not a roller coaster. It is um, more of a 3D type ride. It's, it's You literally sit in like an audience with a whole bunch of other people and you get to see this giant screen. So it is amazing. If you have not done it, you have been to Universal Studios or you're planning on going, go on the Jimmy Fallon ride. It is awesome. Front row is best. So definitely get it if you can. Um, that one does not have the price on it anymore. It just shows, says that it is from The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon. Um, I want to say that one was like $6. So... Uh, somewhere around that same price range. This one is from the Parthenon in Nashville, Tennessee. So this, the Parthenon is actually located in Centennial Park. Um, it is an amazing experience. So if you love the things that have to do with like Greek history or, um, even the movie uh, Percy Jackson. Percy Jackson, um, the very first one, was actually filmed there. So, and it has 
some of the script and some of the um, like the marble and things like that that are in it they're actually still there and you can see it so if you're in Nashville check it out it's amazing it's, it's definitely something you want to see at least once so this one does not have the price on it anymore either um, and I don't know if it actually did but I want to say that one was around five dollars so that'll give you an idea I actually have another one from Bubba Gump, as you can see. Um, we, like I said, we love it. And so, um, this is one that I got. That The other one was from there, from 17 or 18. This one actually came from there um, when we were there in 2020. So, from last year. Um, this is the one that is, it has um, the longitude and latitude, um, and I, I just loved it. It's it's kind of 3D looking. You can see how it's like multi-levels there. So I got that one. And they were actually having a sale while we were there. And I really think I paid around a dollar or two dollars for that magnet. So there you go. That's probably the biggest reason I got it. This one, I don't really know why I took the tag off the back of this one. But anyway, this one came from, there is a Coca-Cola company that is in Disney Springs. So if you go to Orlando and you're there and you have some time, you definitely want to go to Disney Springs. It's it's what used to be called Downtown Disney and now it is Disney Springs. It's huge. There's lots of shopping, lots of food. It actually does have a Rainforest Cafe. It has tons of places to eat though and shop. It has a Cirque du Soleil. Um, bowling uh in nba experience i think is there um gosh I, there's just a lot but there is uh i think there's planet hollywood but there's a coca-cola company there and it's like three levels of coca-cola merchandise and there's a bar up on top with like the drinks and stuff in it there's the polar bear experience with the um the Coca-Cola Polar Bear, you can go in and it's like a meet and greet. So you can do photos and stuff there with them. Um, lots of fun. Really neat. Definitely something you want to see at least once. And I liked this one. I got it when we were there this in November of 2020. Um, it was just something that I just really liked the retro look of it. And I the tag has gone off the back of it, but I think it was two dollars. It, it was very inexpensive. I do remember that. I know it was less than five, and I won't say it was about two. So one of the things that we also did while we were there was in City Walk, we went to the Disney um, World of Disney store. And so we didn't actually do the theme parks when we were there in 2020 because we were there for another reason. But we did go to Disney Springs because we love Disney Springs and it's free. You don't even have to pay for parking. You just get to go walk around and then, of course, you can shop and, you know, buy stuff from the stores or the restaurants. But there's just so much to see. So we went into World of Disney and they were having a 2020 merchandise sale and it was all 70% off. I know, right? So, um, and that's the best time to go to get stuff like that. If you're wanting merchandise from the year that you're there, if you go during Thanksgiving, it's usually on sale at that time at the towards the end of the week. So, and like I said, it was 70% off. So, this is actually, they do a lot of their stuff with colors. And so this is actually a red magnet. Um, it has 2020 on it. It is a 3D image or style of image also. It says Walt Disney World 2020 and it has the castle. And I love this image because it's so bright and colorful. So one of my favorite parts of it is that if you look back here, that's Epcot. And that's Tower of Terror over in um, Hollywood Studios. And that's the actual uh, Cinderella Castle from Magic Kingdom. And um, yeah, so it's they it has all of the um, images on it. You, you can't really see the that the 
tree is on there very well, but the tree is there for Animal Kingdom as well. Um, but I think this one ended up being like two or three dollars also. It was just such a great deal. And I'm trying to get it to focus in here, but it's just not really wanting to do it. But it does have uh, the Fab Five characters on it as well. So that was one of my favorite ones. I love the colors. I love all the bright colors. So while we were in um, Orlando in 2020 also, we went to SeaWorld. It was actually my very first time to go to SeaWorld. We wanted to go years back and we didn't make it over there. And so we did go this time and I loved it. I truly love the fact that they have the rescue area or rescue part of SeaWorld to where they help with the injured um, animals and then they release them into the wild again if they can be released. If they can't and they know that they are going to be better off in captivity to where they have care 24-7, they do keep them and they put them in a home or, you know, have them out, you know, at their part of the zoo type deal. Um, but I do love that they try to do as many rescues as they can and they've done so many of them. But um, while we were there, they were also having a 70% off at one of the stores at the back over by the Orca um, Encounter or the, the Orca Show. Uh, one store back there was having like 70% off of their 2020 merchandise. And uh, one of the things, we got shirts and stuff from there, but I also really wanted a magnet. Now, this magnet was not 70% off. But I absolutely loved it. My daughter loves the beluga whales. And you can see that it's got the blue stones for the eyes. And it has SeaWorld on it. And it's made with the iridescent glitter. Now this is probably my most expensive magnet. I did pay $7.99 for this one. But I loved it. So I just thought I had to have it. Um, but I did get that one there. And so... I don't know why the price tags, I, I guess I've just pulled them off over the time or just, I guess, maybe wiping down the refrigerator and stuff. It, they've just come off. But um, when we went to Universal Studios, they have the Harry Potter world um, in Universal Studios. And then if you do Park Hopper, you get to ride uh, Hogwarts Express over to Islands of Adventure and it comes out back there in Hogsmeade. So I did get um, the um, owl from Harry Potter. His name is Hedwig or her. I think it's actually a her. Uh, and so I really wanted the Hedwig. It, I love it's it's like almost 3D looking. Um, but it is flat on the back. And it does have the Harry Potter wizard, wizarding world. Um, on the back of it but and I want to say I did pay quite a bit for this one it's kind of like it's soft feeling though it's it's it doesn't move but it has a soft feel to it rubbery feel and it's just really neat looking I love her eyes in there and it, I love how you can like set her up on things and it makes it look like she's actually sitting on something while she's magnetized to it so, I do love this one, and I want to say I actually paid, this one may have been the most expensive one I've gotten, because I want to say this one was like $8.99 or so when I bought it, but, um, and I can't remember if I got this one when we were there during Christmas, or if I got this one when we were there um, in the fall, like in, in the summer, sorry, not the fall, but the summer. So, I did get that one of those times, but it did come from Universal Studios um, in Orlando. So, and then, um, this one also, I got a lot of them on that trip, but I kept finding them that I absolutely loved, and I just couldn't go without them. I mean, I don't really collect a whole lot of other things, and I knew I really wanted to do magnets, and that's when I really started my big magnet collection was during this time so um this was another one i got from universal studios this is their water park it's or uh, volcano bay 
And one thing about Volcano Bay is we were there during Christmas and their water is heated. Yeah, great. It was amazing. So we got to go on all the rides. When you walk in, you walk through trees and you come out and it is just like you are in Hawaii or on an island. I mean, it was just amazing. Everything is like sandy or, you know, sand colored floor. Um, tons and tons of trees, um, tropical trees, tropical flowers, the volcano, tons of water, cabanas, you name it. Everything was just amazing. And if you go to Universal Studios and you have at least three days, do all three parks because you can do Universal Studios in a day. You can do Islands of Adventure in a day. And you can do Volcano Bay in a day. I highly recommend you spend at least two days at each one because everything is amazing. It is so much fun and we loved it. We actually spent 10 days at the three parks and nobody wanted to leave. It was just that much fun. But um, this was the my Volcano Bay. You can see the volcano in the middle. It looks like a surfboard um, behind it. And you can see the tiki torches on both sides of that. And then it says um, Universal's Volcano Bay um, on it. And so I, I just love it. And I love the hibiscus flowers that are on it. So... I got this one, and it doesn't have the price on the back of it either, but I want to say this one, that one was $5.99. I can't remember for sure, but it does seem like that's what we paid for that one. And then I've shown this one before, but this was from our last trip to Branson during spring break. Um, I got this one while we were there at the um, uh, Country Inn. Um, remember exactly what it was called big country maybe anyway it's where you can go and play the indoor putt putt and you can grand country that's it <laughs> i knew it would come to me eventually it's called grand country and it has shows and it has a big buffet and it has what looks like you're eating outside of a like a you know antebellum home or something on their porch it has the indoor putt-putt, it has our mini golf, and it has the um, gift shop in there. And so I got this one, it's made of wood, and it is um, like it's engraved, or it's it's cut with like a, you know, some kind of cutter to make that. But, and this one was $2.99. So the prices on all the stuff in that gift shop were very, very reasonable. Um, the shirt that I got from there was like $8.99, right at $9, or maybe $9.99. It was very reasonable. Um, the magnet was $2.99. You just really can't beat, um, that kind of stuff. So, anyway, their, their prices were great. So, if you were looking for souvenirs from Branson, you might want to try that one. So, and then, um, this was from... The, well, we'd love to go to the zoos. We've been to so many different zoos. And I wish I'd have been collecting magnets from all of them. But I have a zoo collection also that I'm fixing to share with you. Sorry, I've got so many. I'm just kind of have them stacked over here and then over here. So, anyway. So, um, I'll start going through, like, some of my zoo magnets now. Um, we've been to so many. And I don't have them from very many. So... But I do have this one. My One of my daughters loves stingrays. So, um, I got this one at the Memphis Zoo. And this one is so neat. It's, it's a 3D look also. Um, and it has the Memphis Zoo in... It's a, that's metal. It's like a, a pewter metal. Um, so, I did get this one from the Memphis Zoo. When we were there a couple of years ago, I believe. Um... And so, uh, the tag on this one is gone too. <laughs> Sorry. I wish they weren't all gone. And I wish I could remember exactly what I paid for them. But I really think this one was about $5. So, and I have another one that's made similar to that. And I'll show it to you now. And um, it actually does have the tag on the back of this one. And I want to say they were about the same price. So, 
This one actually came from when we were in St. Louis. It came from the St. Louis Science Center. So if you go to St. Louis, you definitely want to go there. It was in our um, photo video of the dinosaurs. It was an amazing place. I did take photos from the dinosaur part, but I don't think I took photos from the rest of it. There's so much in that place, though. You definitely want to go there. And it's got like a sky bridge, so you actually get to walk over like the big interstates and stuff. It's crazy. But um, if you like that kind of stuff, definitely want to check it out. But this one uh, from the Science Center, it's made like the same way. And it does still have the price tag on the back of it. It was $4.99. So it makes me think that the um, Memphis Zoo one was probably about the same price, that $4.99 uh, $5 um, price. And then this one uh, was from the Little Rock Zoo. This one has... Um, I think that's a sloth bear I can't remember but anyway and um, this one doesn't have the price tag on the back of it either but I do think it was like five dollars so I really can't remember on it either um, and I, it didn't have a price tag on it to start with I don't think I think it was just on a sign above it so I, I can't really remember on that one um, and then when we were in st. Louis um, we also went to Grant's Farm, and I can't remember what it cost to go to Grant's Farm. It might have been free. I know we went to Budweiser, and that was part of the images, too, where you saw, like, the Clydesdales, if you've seen that video. Um, the Clydesdales were from the Budweiser tour that we went on, and kids can go on it. Um, it's a great tour. It shows all kinds of stuff. It shows a lot of the history and so forth for St. Louis and for um, the Budweiser company. And then Grant's Farm is where the uh, Clydesdales actually live. And so if you get a chance, you definitely want to go check out the Grant's Farm tour. So this was the magnet I got from Grant's Farm um, while we were there. And then um, I... The, still have the um, tag on the back of it, and it's two ninety nine. It actually talks about this, so it says that this is um, the Barnhof, and it was built in nineteen twelve, and it is the center of the guests' daily activities. It includes the carriage house, the stable, and the main concession stand. The hospitality bar is also included in this beautiful area. So, when we walked out of Grant's Farm, you can actually see one of the photos is of the back side of this, and it has ivy all over it. It's absolutely beautiful. It's covered in green ivy, and that's the back of this. So, if you watch that photo video, you'll see that it's on there, and it's awesome. So this was another one that I got. Um, this was also from our trip to Universal Studios. This is Breathe In, Breathe Out, Move On Margaritaville. Um, and so that's the Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville. This one was $4.95. And that one came from Universal Studios Orlando. However, we have been to the Universal Studios Orlando Margaritaville. We've also been to the one in Nashville, Tennessee. And I want to say there's at least one more, but I can't think of it off the top of my head where that one was. But anyway, so I didn't get one from the other locations, but, um, and I probably, I should, but if they don't say where they're from, I just don't tend to get another one when we go back. So, um, I, I, and I don't really know why. Like, I do that, like, rainforest and stuff like that because they don't normally say, like, where they are. Some of them do, but some of them don't. So, okay. So, this one was from our trip to Nashville, Tennessee also. We went to the aquarium um, restaurant there, which is one of the Landry's restaurants. This one, actually, it's kind of a 3D look, too. So, it's hard to see it on the camera, but it does have a 3D look, and it has the sharks swimming in the um, aquarium. This one was $5.99. Uh, 
Um, this one in the, is in the Nashville Mall. So when you go there, they actually have the aquarium and they also have the Rainforest Cafe. And we have been, we've only been to the aquarium restaurant once, uh, but we have been to that Rainforest Cafe uh, several times, uh, at least two or three times. So um, we do love Rainforest Cafe. It's so nice for the kids. Um, it's, there's so much to see. And then um, this one is from uh, the Rainforest Cafe in Nashville. You can see it's got Nashville on that one. And it says, um, greetings y'all from Nashville. And this one was $5.99 also. Um, there is, so we've been to this one several times. There are also Rainforest Cafes in Orlando. So we have also been to the Rainforest Cafe at Animal Kingdom at Disney World. We have been to the one at uh, Disney Springs um, when we were there in, uh, several times. And um, I want to say we've been to at least one more, but I can't think of where that one was. So We've been to several of the Rainforest Cafes, and I don't, I don't know, I was thinking I had another one from another Rainforest Cafe, but I don't see it, so I don't, I'm thinking that one may have gotten broken over time, but anyway, so this one is from the one in Nashville, so I know when we go back to, like, Orlando, I probably need to get another one, <laughs> and so, anyway, and then, um, when we were at... Universal Studios, um, trying to remember when, one of our trips to Universal Studios, I saw this one, I, oh, I believe I got it from City Walk this last time, so actually I think we got it in November, because we did go to, to City Walk, we just didn't go into the actual Universal Studios um, parks, so that's one of the things about Universal Studios is you can go to the hub and you can go walk around City Walk, which has Bubba Gump, Margaritaville, um, the Universal Studios stores, Toothsum, which is amazing, awesome food, Hard Rock Cafe. Oh, goodness, there's so many places that you can go to and go see and go visit. There's movies and mini golf and all that stuff. And you don't have to pay to get into that part that's free. So if you're in Universal Studios or if you're around that area, if you're there um, wanting to find some things to do that won't cost you anything, go check out City Walk because it's really cool. It's really neat and there is a lot to see there. So uh, it'll give you something else to see that you weren't planning on seeing anyway. So anyway, but I think this one came from the uh, Universal Studios store in City Walk. And I think I got this one in November when we were there. And it was $5.95. And it does have like a 3D look to it also. It's hard to see these on the camera. But that definitely, the globe definitely stands out from the back of it. So, and then, um, so our first trip to, well, no, it wasn't our first trip. Our trip to Orlando last summer. So, Nope, 19. It would have been 2019 summer. We did go to Orlando, and um, we actually went to the Walmart that is there. I think it's behind the Disney um, area. So there's a big Walmart there, and we ended up going there and looking around because people kept telling us there was so much Disney merch there. I just couldn't believe it, and I thought it's not going to be anything different than what the normal Walmarts have. I just couldn't see it. When you get into that Walmart, it is nothing but Disney merch. I mean, if you can dream it, they have it. Shirts and towels and picture frames, magnets, um, pens, lanyards, cups, coffee mugs. Um, oh my gosh, it, it just goes on and on and on. It's, there's everything and it is so cheap compared to anything that you can buy in the parks. 
So one thing I got was my daughter was looking for um, patches. She collects patches and she was wanting some for a jacket. And so we went in there and they had the coolest um, Disney patches and they were like a dollar or maybe two dollars a piece and then they had some that were in like packages of four to six and they were running you know anywhere from two dollars to five dollars for the big pack and I just couldn't believe it because those patches are running around seven ninety five and you know at a park or in a store so each <laughs> so I couldn't get over the price of it and so I got to look and they had magnets there too and the magnets were like a dollar ninety five I think so I got Mickey so and I also got a Mickey keychain that I absolutely love and I use it daily but um yeah so I got this one from there and then when we left from um, Orlando during Thanksgiving, we were th there Thanksgiving of 2020, and uh, which was this past Thanksgiving, and um, we actually got to the airport a little bit early, and they have a lot of stores in the airport now. <laughs> With that being said, do know that they have a lot of stuff in that airport but you have to check your bags first. So you check your bags and then you see all these stores. Orlando Airport. Why do you do that? <laughs> because people that don't know, don't know to keep extra room for stuff that they find and you're allowed one carry-on bag and then an extra personal item like a purse or something and then like a, a rolling bag or a backpack. Well, our bags were jam-packed already because we just had stuff that we needed to bring back because we had already been to Orlando and now we're headed home and found so much cute stuff. It was just, oh, it was so irritating. So anyway, we did go into the stores. We came out bummed because we couldn't buy all the stuff that we wanted to buy. And I mean, when I say they have lots of stores, they have... A sea world store and they had I think there were two Universal Studio stores and I think there were two Disney stores and I mean just tons and tons of like shopping um, Ron John's and just tons of stuff and it was so oh just aggravating because you couldn't buy very much you were real limited so basically you wanted to go look in all the stores and then pick out your most favorite thing that you thought you could squeeze into a bag because you were so limited so anyway, I did end up getting another magnet there because I knew I wanted one and um, I had not seen this one in the parks. So I did get this one. It says Lights, Camera, Action, Universal Studios. And this is just an, a photo that I put in there from when we were at um, Volcano Bay from when everybody was there with us from Christmas. And this is actually printed out on one of those little um, small printers that's made for like the, the cell phones where you can print just the little small um, images. And this has the magnets on the back, but it also has a stand that you can stand this up if you want it to be a small frame. So I actually have two of these <laughs> because I put this one on the refrigerator but if you look right there, you can see the other one. And because it is a small uh, frame and because it does have the little leg on the back, um, I was able to put it right there. It's, kind of, it's hard to point and know where I'm going with this because nothing is set up compared to where I, if I look back there, I see it. But it's right there in front of Grogu. And so anyway... I love this and you just slip the picture into the top of it and then you can take it back out. So anyway, that's the one that I got when we were there for this last time and the image inside it doesn't look great. But like I said, it's from just the little bitty printer that you can get for your camp for your phone. So anyway, okay. Now, <laughs> oddly, I really did not think it would take that long to do my phone, my magnet, uh, collection because I really didn't think I had that many of them 
<laughs> not compared to what I plan to have eventually, but um, looking at it, I've already got uh, over 30 minutes worth of uh, footage from it, so I'm definitely going to have to go in and edit this and take some out, but if I just can't take out very much, I may end up having to make this into two videos. <laughs> but anyway, so now you see what I collect. I, I do collect um, some photo or some uh, coffee cups also. And I have shown some of those that may be the next collection that I do. I don't have a ton of them, but I really didn't think I had a ton of magnets either, so there you go. But anyway, all right. So with that being said, I hope you have a wonderful day. 